Andrew, I'm sitting here watching the sunrise on the day where I make the best decision of my life to become your wife. I can't help but feel an overwhelming sense of calm and peace. There's no doubt I'm making the right decision to make you my husband. You are the most caring, honest, loyal, and loving man that I know. They say things in life don't happen by chance. I can honestly say I did not believe that wholeheartedly until you came into my life. From that day, things in my life started to make sense. Sid, I wish I knew where to start. Your love is such a pure, unconditional, beautiful love. I can't even describe how you make me feel. Our path certainly took their course, but God knew exactly what I needed and a wife and brought us together at the perfect time. This journey with you has been amazing. You are the best fur mama and companion I could ever ask for. The consistency you show on a daily basis is something I adore so, so much. The comfort I take in waking up knowing I get the same person each and every day is something I never knew existed. So clear, it's better than we planned it. This rising sun was meant for you and I. We see it now, the story comes together. There's not been a single day in the past 903 days where I haven't felt anything but love and respect from you. My heart has never had a single doubt that you would be the man that I wanted to spend my whole life with. Starting a life with you is all I've ever wanted and that starts today. Andrew, I love you with every ounce of my soul, yesterday, today, and every other day for the rest of my life. I love your patience, your kindness, your passion, and most of all your heart. The quality I love the most of yours is your selflessness. You never hesitate to put the ones you love in front of yourself. I wouldn't pick another woman on this planet to raise our babies. You have all of the best qualities of a mother. Life will certainly throw us curveballs, but I have no doubt we can overcome them. The nerves and anxious feelings of this week are simply due to the moment because I know without the slightest doubt this is the best decision I have ever made. I love the way your family has taken me in as their own, and I love them as my own. I promise to love you through anything life presents us. I promise to always put you and our children before myself. I promise to love you until my very last breath. See you soon, your husband. I will honor you, respect you, cherish you, and love you. Through the good times and the bad times in life, I will always choose you. I promise I will always put you first always promise to make your coffee before I make mine. I promise to leave God in the center of our marriage. I promise to grow with you and to give you patience. I promise I will be the best mother to our future children. Today is the day I officially commit my life to you and I could not be any happier. Here's to the rest of our lives. I love you so much. The last time, Sydney was a Right here On this ground where we are standing Holding dreams with open hands against the sky by the power vested in me and by the state of Delaware and North Carolina. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.
everyone for traveling here this weekend to celebrate Sydney and Andrew and the undeniable love they share. We know how much they've appreciated all of your love and support throughout their relationship. You should know how much all of you mean to them. We love you both more than anything and we're so happy you're getting the happy ending you both deserve. Tonight we will dance, drink, and celebrate this beautiful day in your new marriage. And although it will be sad when the weekend is over, remember this is truly just the beginning. So Sid and Andrew, keep dating one another, promise to learn new ways to serve one another, celebrate the little victories in life, be there for one another through all life's ups and downs, pray together and pray for each other. We can't wait to see the beautiful family and life that you create together. And Andrew, remember that you can take the girl out of West Virginia, but you can't take the West Virginia out of the girl. So with that, let's raise our glasses to the new Mr. and Mrs. Davis. Woo!